Hey, what's up guys? I'm Alex Farnham and this is Animalist News. So this morning I was searching the internet and I found this amazing pug, Xander. He's super cute, he's a therapy dog and he helps those in need. And get this, he's blind, he has no eyes. Xander's been popping up everywhere on the internet. I saw him on Huffington Post, I was reading all these articles about him. There's amazing photos and video and before I knew it an hour had gone by and now I'm a huge fan of the guy. So today we are lucky enough to have Xander and his owner Rodney Beatty on the show. So Rodney, tell us how you adopted Xander. About a year ago, uh, he came into the shelter and then a couple days after that, they were going to uh, bring him up to a basketball game to try to get some donations and get him adopted. And they brought him over to Double C to get him bathed and cleaned up. And I saw him and I just fell in love with him. So um, how did Xander lose his eyes? They haven't actually officially told us what exactly happened. All they were able to say from the shelter was that uh, he had some type of traumatic accident that affected both of his eyes so that he had to uh, have him removed. What, what do you think makes Xander a great therapy dog? Uh, he adjusts to the people's personalities and their needs, you know, uh, re uh, without even being told to or uh, talked to. He just uh, naturally does it. And Xander doesn't only work with children, right? He also works with adults. Oh, uh, yeah. They, there's been a couple times we went up to the hospital and there was, was one time where the patient was uh, terminally ill and uh, my wife volunteered to go up there every day and, uh, and Xander just went in there and just laid down right beside her and she just petted his head and his face, which he doesn't really care a whole lot to be petted on the face, except for when they need to rise. Then he'll allow them to just pet him on the face and he just lays there and comforts him. So I read that even with no eyesight, Xander still lives like a normal dog. What's his daily doggy life like? Well, he, uh, he has six other pugs at home and a lab, which is his best friend, his chocolate lab. And he just rough, he rough houses with them and he doesn't take nothing off of them either. He, he plays tug of war with them and uh, he runs in and out of the doggy door like a uh, normal sided dog would do. So tell us, what does the future hold for Xander? Um, there's some possible uh, children book deals already in the future and that we're working on right now with some wonderful writers and uh, then other than just going to abuse uh, children and working with them and comforting them and going to schools and preschoolers and teaching them about uh, anti-violence with hands and words are not for hurting and then going up to the hospital, visiting the patients up there and he just got a new, pa uh, new uh, client for our hospice that he's going to uh, get ready to go to and see. All right, well, thank you guys so much for being on the show, and I bet you we're going to see a lot more of Xander in the future. Okay, thank you very much for, for calling us. Well, guys, I got to say that Xander's story was very moving, and that's why I wanted to share it with all of you. If you found it inspirational, share it with your friends. Also, in the comments below, let us know what animal inspires you. Check out some other episodes over here, subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you hairy mammals later.